Alrighty, so the ported Super XL 130 that we did. Uh, it's been like a roller coaster ride, figuring out what works, figuring out what doesn't work. But today we're gonna give it another test, and see how she does. Uh, who knows? It might go good, it might go bad. We'll, we'll, we won't know until we get into it, right? But uh, she's definitely been a roller coaster ride of good and bad. But uh, we'll figure it out, you know? We'll get there eventually. But today we're going to give it a run. See what she does. Alrighty, enjoy. <clears throat> so, I just gave the uh, Super XL 130 a try. And it feels like it's really close. I'm running into a problem. And let me show you. So the carburetor screen, uh, the fuel inlet screen on the carburetor keeps plugging up on me. Which means I got a bunch of debris in the tank. And if you remember, I already spent like six hours cleaning that tank. It was so bad. And it looks like I still got a lot more in there to deal with. Now, I forgot to push record whenever I started cutting. But it would only last for a few seconds. And then it went lean on me and that was it. And I, it's, I pulled the top of the carb off and the fuel inlet screen is plugged up. So I cleaned it out, went again. It only lasted for five or 10 seconds and then it just plugged back up again. So we have to get in there and deal with it. So that's where we're at. We uh, we just got a fuel fuel issue right now. Uh, I might go ahead and let me see if I can fish the fuel line out. Maybe the fuel filter just fell off. You never know, right? I'm... All right. So I pulled the fuel line out, and the uh, you know the little cloth part that goes around the filter here it had creeped up over the fuel line. So I was sucking straight. Um, the little cloth part seems to have, it's, it seems to be like stretched out of shape almost, like as you can say. So I think I just need to put a fuel filter on this thing and we might be uh, back up and running. Um, so I'm anxious to get this up and running, you know. We might have a good saw here. Alrighty. All right, so I pulled the fuel filter out of a different saw and put in the Super XL 130. Um, I don't know if this is going to work because I didn't get, you know, the fuel line itself flushed out and everything, but we're going to give it a try. And the 28 inch bar is on a different saw now. So I just stuck the sharpest 20 inch bar and chain I got here and uh, we're just going to run a 20 on it. But uh, let's see if this thing runs.
Well, we got it. Just needed a good fuel filter, you know? <laughs> Go figure. But I'm not changing nothing. That's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, except the doll chain. We'll fix that in the future. But yeah, I'm tickled pink right now. She's good. I don't know how many RPM I'm pulling. You think I'm north of 10,000? I don't know. I should get a tack. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if that one of those tacks that pick up on sound would pick it up through a speaker. I doubt it. But I'm tickled right now. I'm so happy. That's been one long project. 101 on the exhaust timing. And uh, uh, trenched out a little bit on the crankcase. Hogged out the transfers a good bit. And the carburetor is off of, it's an HS26A. Off a, uh, I pulled it off my XL700. But that's the combination. I didn't touch the blow down at all. So that's, I think it's sitting right at 20 degrees right now. So, it's cold out here. But I'm happy. Boy, am I happy. But uh, the next time we do this saw, we'll give it a better work workout. We'll put the 28 inch bar on it and uh, we'll work it a little harder. See how it does. See if it'll pull the 28. Alrighty. Well, y'all have a good day. Uh, it's been a good one. Alrighty. Thanks. Later.